Today we will be going over notes receivable and interest revenue. Notes receivable is a more formal version of accounts receivable. It can be current or long term and in the form of cash or merchandise. The borrower signs a written promise to pay the lender on the maturity date, which is usually the principal payment, how much they borrowed, plus the interest agreed on upon signing. Interest revenue. Interest revenue is the money a lender makes off loaning money. It is the cost of borrowing money for the borrower. It is a set rate agreed upon at the beginning of the note. It has a normal credit balance and is treated the exact same way as sales revenue. Interest rates. Interest rates are typically expressed as a yearly rate. To find what the interest rate would be for a specific time period less than a year, you can put it into a, in a fraction of either months, which would be the interest rates divided by 12, or days, which would be the interest rate divided by 365 days. In this practice problem, Bella Beauty issued a six month, 8% $10,000 loan on January 1st, which is due June 30th. What is the entry to record the note? On January 1st, we would record a debit to notes receivable of 10,000 and a credit to cash of 10,000. What is the entry to record payment of the note on the maturity date? We would debit cash of $10,400. We would credit interest revenue of $400, which I got by doing 6 divided by 12, because it's a six-month loan, times the 8% interest rate, times $10,000, which ultimately gave me $400. We would also credit notes receivable of $10,000 because we no longer expect to receive that money. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online, or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.